guess the monster isn't particularly chasing me, he's just in the vicinity. <laughs> I know f that this is where you respawn when you die. And one of the let's plays I've watched, the guy died, respawned here-ish, he goes around the corner and there are two monsters right there. And he can't do a thing about it. What the? Think I'm going the right way here? Again, because of my untrusting nature. Oh, nice. Two tinder boxes and oil. 61 tinder boxes. Number just keeps going up, doesn't it? Glass jar. And two more tinder boxes. What's my sanity? Low. If he comes here, I'm screwed, but he has to come here first. Just thought of something. Why does it sometimes do a kind of like a scratchy noise, but sometimes not? It's weird. Oh. I think it may have something to do with if he sees you. That would be my guess. is in excellent condition. Cell area four. Let's go the way I haven't gone. That's a weird effect. The gate leading out of this area is locked by a worn padlock. I need to stop looking at those, they're not particularly helpful. Hey, you! Stop! Don't come any closer! <laughs> I just want to leave! You can't go outside! It's too dangerous! I'm killing Gabriel! I doubt that very much. really suck if while having a memory or flashback oh shoot that happened because you move slower when 
you're having a flashback. So if you also ran into a monster that wouldn't exactly make for the best down there. It's going the other way, okay. Won't budge. Where did it come from? Could have been bad. Hey, anybody, help! Right. There's some people be. What? I mean, why? What do I do to deserve this? I mean, it can't be. Do I deserve this? It wasn't my fault. I didn't have to go in there. Don't go into burning houses. He should have known better. So it went into a burning house. Nice, naked dude. Swung over a chair. off that'd be painful. Second off, it would show parts I'd rather not see. 4th of August, 1839. The nightmares woke me in the early morning, and for a moment I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within. And if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about it. And that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against it, as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb, and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me, and he answered that things can be done, but at a price. Well, there was a question that came up while that was being read that got answered, so, um, that question was why, again, really? Now it's just becoming annoying. Sitting here, waiting, hoping it doesn't try and break down the door to the room you're in. Never.
never knowing just how often it happens is getting annoying. Is there I wish there was a map. Second. Oh, I went on a square. Okay. Ooh, man, I'm sluggish right now. Not particularly high sanity. Okay, last time annoying. This time scary. I honestly don't get that one. Oh gosh, she's breaking down the door. Like he's gone? Maybe? No. It's not in this room, but. There he goes. <laughs> 